Visualizing U.S. Budget Spending, a project for Google's Database Challenge by Nicolás García Belmonte and Luz Caballero. Every year, we fill out income tax forms and make payments to the IRS. Where does it all go? We have created a visualization to make it easier to understand how the government uses our money. What you can see here is a 2011 U.S. budget with a total of 3.69 billion. You can see how it is divided in different functions like national defense and social security here in green, then self functions, and then finally in red, the actual things that the money is spent on. So let's say I'm interested in the 2012 budget. What's new in it? What I'm going to do now is I'm going to see how the 2012 budget departs from this year's budget. You can see that I have selected here to highlight year-to-year -year change, so I'm going to see what the increases and decreases in the different functions and different expenditures. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click in 2012 and I'm going to see an animation. And what has caught my eye here when I saw the animated changes is that actually National Defense is red here, it shows a decrease. So that's quite interesting. Let's go and take a look. I'm going to click on National Defense and now I can see the trend for National Defense over the years. And when, what I can see now is that for the first time since 2001 we're seeing a decrease in the national defense budget. This is a reversal of a 10-year trend. So, um, well, now I'm, I want to go and see where it comes from. So you can see that the biggest expenditure for national defense is the Department of Defense and the military. No surprises here. But what is the money actually spent on? So we can see that most of the categories here are... Um, maintenance of the different forces and they're all in the red except for some like defense health program so we can see that there's an overall decrease in expenditure but if we look down here there's a pretty big one under a mystery name other legislation and this accounts for 50 million which is more than one percent of the total budget so this is interesting let's see if this is normal spending for this category so what i'm going to do is i'm going to look at this year 2011 to see if this was also there and if there have been any changes so i'm going to go back and well you can see that that completely disappears but let's take a look at something else right now. Let's go back to the full budget. This We can do it by clicking on the arrow at the left of the visualization. So now we're seeing the full budget for 2011. But I'm sure you also noticed this spike in 2009. So let's go and see what's in there. So I will click on it. And you can see immediately, if you look exactly at the same spot that I did, that commerce and housing credit is a full category almost appearing out of nowhere. So let's see what's in it. Whoa! Here you can see a five, $500 million expenditure in a category that was traditionally in the tens of millions of dollars. So let's see what's going on here. So what you can see here is that basically two big sub-functions, sub other advancement of commerce and mortgage credit. And these functions seem to be taking all the um, increase in spending. So it's like up to um, almost uh, 230 million for other adv advancement of commerce and 200 million for mortgage credit. So let's see what this is. So the big spending within other advancement of commerce is the Travel Asset Relief Program, which takes 150 million here 
and also an additional uh, 40 million here that's almost 200 million so if you go and google that you will see that travel asset relief program is the government's name for the bailout so that's almost 200 million uh, 200 uh, uh, million dollars and if you look down here what you can see is that the mortgage credit was actually spent on the GSE preferred stock purchase agreements GSE is uh, the name uh, means government sponsored enterprises this is the Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac takeover so you can actually see it here in the budget well, I hope we got you interested enough to go and use our visualization by yourself. You can find it at blog.thejit.org slash assets slash database. And you can also find the JavaScript InfoViz toolkit, which we used to create this visualization at thejit.org.